Hi, this is Paul again. Now I'd like to introduce you to DNA Geometry and Navigating Part 3. In my last video, Part 2, I figured out the ADNA running for 9 bends. But to have full synchronization between the three types of DNA, I found that starting with the red had to be changed to the green. And because everything works, this is the way it's going to stay. So now we'll add some rings for the vertices of the dodeca. These rings are spaced 173.204 apart. This is the long diagonal of little Plato cube and Bucky cubes of the system. The dodecas come out of the Plato cube, the icosas come out of the Bucky cubes, and the Bucky and the Plato in the center will give us the both. Okay, now let's get started with the A swirls first. Our first swirl, which is the green one, will be 60 degrees. Our next swirl, which is the blue one, will be 75.4 degrees. The next one, which is a cyan, is 44.6 degrees. And finally, we have the red swirl, and that is 60 degrees. So if you add all these angles up, it comes to 240 degrees. Let's call this a 240 stack. These are the four basic elements of ADNA. Okay, now we can go over to the Z DNA and start on that one. We'll start with the green, which is 120 degrees. And we have blue at another 120 degrees. Actually, all the Z are 120 degrees. So now we have a cyan, and finally we have a red. Okay, so this now gives us the Z DNA. Now I'm going to move a copy of the cyan rungs from A and take them to B. Also, I'm going to take a copy of the orange rungs on Z and bring them to B also. Now we'll pick up the vertices with a new helix. A pair of, I should say. So we'll start with the green, and now we have the blue. Now the cyan, and now the red. Notice for the B, I've split the colors into two shades. And now we can bring the dodecas in for a look. Okay, now I'm going to make a copy of these three stacks and move them to the top. Now, if we rotate A 240 degrees, the top half is dead on track. Okay, now we'll go to the B type and do exactly the same. And these two pieces line up perfect on 240 also. Now check out this on Z DNA. Because it's anti-clockwise, we'll give it minus 240 to start. And as you can see, it only makes it about halfway. So when we give it another 240, it does the trick. This is because the Z track is 4 times 120. Now I'm going to reverse Z back to where we were again because I've got something interesting to show you. We had to go minus 480 to line Z up. But look when we rotate 240 positive. Now she lines up just the same as A and B. She lines up positive 240. This is a very important feature and you're going to find out later. These four color stacks can also be known as A240 stack, B240 stack, or Z240 stack. Now I'll we'll zoom out and take another three copies, rotate them 240, so that will give us a triple stack. So by adding three 240 stacks together, we're going to get 12 elements. That is if you count each color in these 12 element stacks. Now I'm going to zoom out and make a copy of these three 12 element stacks. And when you add these stacks, you don't have to rotate them anymore because they're a complete cycle. Before we leave these stacks, I'd like to show you that these rotate at 120 degrees. That's when it goes through the DNA cycles. As I rotate it 120, you, I'll bring the dodecas in. You can see the vertices lining up. If a copy was made, you'd get a second helix. I went into this deeply on my video 369. 
Okay, now we're going to start with an animated demo of the 9-bend system. We we'll use B-type DNA for this one and start with the green bend first. I show a golden ratio vector and it's color coded, just like I showed previously in my videos. I also show the dodeca arrangement of the system just before I move back to vertical. Now I'll move on to the blue bend and notice it's the view that's rotating and not the helixes. Now we keep on adding to the string and notice there is no bend on the cyan. Its geometry is being used to get to the top three vertices of the red dodeca. And this red dodeca is our third bend. Now we've completed the first three bends of the first 240 degree stack. Okay, now we can move the view down to show the second stack. But this green meets the red at 240 degrees different to the first green. And it will make the bend number four. So we go back to vertical again. And then we'll proceed and do bend five in the blue. Okay, now she's done the blue again. And we straighten up again. We give it a bit of rotation and then we'll go up to the red and give it a bend on the red again. So now we finish the second 240 degree. Okay, now that the red is done, we can drop down a little bit and now we go down to the third. And this is going to be our last third 240 degree stack. We can move a little bit faster now because I think you've got the picture. So we're on bend 8 and OK, we're on bend 9. And now we can drop down and when we drop down, it's going to come right back to very start of a new cycle. OK, we can now start a new cycle on the green again. So I'll run up a stack on B-type first. And now I'm going to change from a B-type over to an A-type. And I'll rotate the view around on the green type. And then we can show a green bend once again in A-type. Okay, now I'm going to take this A-type back to vertical again. And then I have to change into a B-type because then I want to change into a Z-type. You have to go from B to Z. Okay, now we can go ahead with the Z type and we'll rotate it around a bit and then we'll do a blue bend in the Z type. Okay, we'll take it back to vertical again and then I want to repeat this bend showing the icosas. I have something to show you. I'd like you to focus on the little red vertex which is part of the rung, the center rung and watch it as it's rotating as it makes the bend. I could not find the center before, but with the five cube discovery and the golden ratio, I got a perfect center this time. This rotating rung only had to be used on the blue and on the red Z bend. I didn't have to use it in the B. Okay, we'll stay with the Z swirls for a while and we'll run it up, rotate, and then we'll do the red bend. And it uses the rotating rung also. Okay, we'll run up to the second 240 stack with this Z type DNA, and we'll do a couple of more bends. So let's go up to the fourth bend. So I think we'll finish this off with just one more blue bend on number five. And I think I've shown that just three bends repeated and repeated will do all sorts of things. These all sorts of things can get confusing. So I've put a little video together to make it look easier. Okay, we we'll start with the green bends first. The start of the green swirl has to travel through blue, cyan and red. And 240 degrees travel brings it back to its second place, which is bend 4. And now she'll do exactly the same, travel another 240 degrees to its third place, this being bend 7. This amazing geometry has ended up giving us three vectors 120 degrees about. 
okay now we can go to band 2 on color blue and give it 240 and we're on band 5 and another 240 and we're on band 8 these three bends also end up at 120 degrees about for the last three we'll start on red band 3 and the first 240 will give us band 6 and the second 240 will give us the red band 9 and these three red bends also are 120 degrees about i think doing 369 separate was a lot easier now i'll show you the full ones going together it's difficult to measure the angles between the green and the blue and the red they are the angles between the vectors of the dodeca so they're not on a flat plane so it's not exactly an enneagram okay we're getting to the end of this video now but i want to show you one little thing before we end i showed the 12 element stack using the dodecas now look what happens when i operate the three blue bends and now i'll operate the red bends and finally i'll do the green bends so i guess it's plain to see that the folding and the spirals are all built into the geometry of dna so i let the scholars have a think about this one. So this is Paul saying thank you very much for watching my video.